Hello ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to tell you that uh, my child died. I found him. Um, we were watching videos and I stepped outside for a moment to smoke and I heard my wife screaming and my daughter screaming and when I came back in we found our child hanging. He was just a baby boy and he was just playing around. He didn't suffer from depression or nothing. He was a normal child. Very spoiled little. He was the youngest in our family and we loved him so much. and We took care of him so, so much. We loved him very much. And uh, time is precious. You know, you look at your lives and there's these moments where you say, I get around to it, and, you know, you set your children aside, you know, for your own selves. You know, well, we all need time for ourselves, but we need to take care of the time properly. We need to stop taking most of the time for ourselves, and I'm not saying people don't, but I'm just saying really appreciate and love the, the time you have with your children. You don't realize how precious, I mean, they are. Um... My, do my son was precious to me every day, you know, I, I was with him every day, I go to the store and even if he wasn't with me, I was always picking him up something, I always made sure there was something in the refrigerator for him, we always took care of him, gave him toys and, you know, he had his two sisters, they love him so much, and, um, you know, there's just not enough time in the day. You know, every day you're like, you know, every night you're like, I wish I could have spent more time with you today, you know. And tomorrow we're going to spend more time. And, you know, tomorrow we're going to do the whatever it is. And I'm not saying I'm a bad parent. I'm just sad because I didn't, it would have. You know, when your child's gone, you'd be like, you know, you, things change, you, you don't even want to, you just, there's not enough time. I just wanted to tell you guys that I saw my child being saved when we were in the hospital. I was praying and they finally got they finally got his heart started and um they were rushing him to another hospital and when we ran outside I, I looked up real quick to see what the Lord had to say because I can see him and hear him and he, he's inside him he dwells in me he's everywhere I wish people could see him where he's at or how or who he is and He's your father. He loves you so much. So I ran outside and I looked up real fast to get a quick snapshot, you know, of what the Lord had to say. And I saw him just real quick. He brought my son up, you know, and he took him in real quick. And I got to see his spirit. And then I got to see, you know, the Lord blasted out a horse and everything for him and just all this stuff. And... And I was like, oh, bless you, Holy Father, you know. I thought he was showing my child the things that he shows me and the gifts and stuff that, you know, dwell, that he has given us, you know, given me and given you and us what he gives us. And some of the gifts and stuff. And and I was like, oh, thank you, Holy Father, you know. And, and his heart was beating and I was like, cool, man, you just showed my child what you show me. What a blessing. My child is being shown the most beautiful things right now. You know, and uh, so I was like, let's go to the hospital, you know, and because I, I, you know, I, I wasn't aware that he was going to keep him. So we went to the hospital, and then, you know, uh, I checked on him, and when I went to check on him, you know, I asked the Lord about him to check on him. And the Lord told me he wasn't coming back. And I was like, no, you know, and that's what I try to explain to people. Even when the Lord talks to you directly, we still ignore him. 
you know, because he's our father and we're so, we want to do our own, that's how, you know, even when we're good, I'm telling you, we, we can't measure up to the father's wisdom and love in our hearts, we still, still do it. Even seeing him and knowing him, I still try to negotiate with him to get my child back. And, and it, that's just completely crazy because our Lord is, is so humble and loving and he loves Matthew and it's his child. I'm sitting there negotiating to get his child back that he's taken back with him and already told me that he's taken him and that's his child, you know, and I, I, I've seen him and, and everything and I'm still negotiating with the Holy Father to please give him back to me. So the hours are going by and I'm, he's telling, every time, you know, he, he's telling me, he's speaking to me, he's telling me, you know, and, and I'm not listening, I'm like, you know, every time he tells me, I try to tip the scales. You know, I go over to the other decision, I sit there and wait and push for it and push for it and it gets quiet. <clears throat> So finally it's getting closer and closer and even the doctors already knew in the very beginning. I already knew in the very beginning. The Lord told me I could see them, the doctors, and I went into straight up no. But it it, it was it was the time. The Lord came in and he came and told me very beautifully, you know, he comforted me and everything and you know, and he just, what he does, you know, with his love and caring emotions, you know, ex just explain to me in one drop, you know, a couple drops of just beautiful to tell me, you know, I know, and it's all right, and, you know, he's with me, I love you, and, you know, and he, I'm, I'm there for you, and, you know, he, I'm your dad, and I feel, I feel the same, I'm, I'm, I have your compassion, I understand telling me personally because he's my father and he dwells within me and understands my personal personality and told me within a few moments with his love and understanding with my my understanding my complete compassion for me but also I wanted to tell you you know there is a moment where I started to go right into an angry depression and blaming and what I could have done and how to change things and the faults and the reasonings and and just the misconceptions and the, just the the angers and the blames he spoke up so loud about that in an instant for me he is so concerned about me going down that wrong road that we think is so simple to be angry and blame and, and to beat ourselves up. Our Holy Father's concern and love, it's, it's so beautiful. He, in my time of need and everything, that was the loudest he got. Instantly. Holy Father loves you no matter what. I don't care if you're 90. You're still a baby to him. My child, when I saw my child being brought up, I saw the Lord dress him. Jesus Christ put sandals on him and a robe. And then I saw him present and the angels were around him, the Holy Father's children. And then I saw him being presented before the Father, and I saw the Father smell him. And I could see the light just billowing out of my child. And I could see him laying flat, being cooed by God. And an infant before God. We are infants before him. All of us, you are his children. Jesus Christ brought you forth into this world from the tree 
I saw him do it with me. And, and I don't care what anybody thinks. I watched myself being brought into this world. I watched Jesus Christ literally sitting down at his table. And bringing me out of the Father behind him. In the tree. Out of the Lord's Spirit. Out of his body. You are his children. The love and emotion that he has for you, he understands each and every one of you. He had my child laid out flat like an infant, cooing him, and I've never seen a look of complete bliss and loving emotional content in my life. That boy is in heaven. He's literally, I've seen him in the garden. God is eternal. I've seen his children worshiping him. I've seen his saints before him. I've seen the temple. Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen the Holy Father his enduring emotions for you or his child. He's laying on the floor looking at my wife while she's crying with his eyes drooped and his lip hanging out. When you pray to him, his face adjusts according to your emotions with complete sympathy and love and complete enduring emotion for you to go forth in positive, loving, endearing compliments but also I'll tell you I started to complain and the holy angels and Jesus the holy angel and Jesus Christ and the cherubims I could hear them I could see the little angel come before me and I could see Jesus Christ sit up instantly don't come before our father with blasphemies he suffers every single atrocity in every moment of every day on this planet you are his children don't be upset. He sacrificed his child for us and sacrifices himself and his child, his child and his body every day, his mind and his heart, suffering the attacks and the atrocities to his, his heart, his spirit, his body, his mind. You are his children. All love and blessings and praise go to the Holy Father and the Holy Child and all of His children. He seeks nothing but literally a loving family and children to express His most inner being through. To sit back and enjoy His loving children. To soak in all their beautiful things that they want to do and just let them push forward blessed be to the Holy Father our Holy Dad and his Holy Child Jesus Christ our Holy Father our creators our Holy Fathers sacrificed themselves every day Jesus Christ died on the cross so that he could sit before God and pray for us and for our understandings and our love in your holy name I pray Holy Father and Holy Jesus Christ bless you little Matthew Amen